why people don't want to get involved. As a conservative and pragmatic person, I was reluctant to learn more about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Most of my friends and family are and were equally reluctant. After a few conversations I noticed a very clear pattern in people's concerns. Here are the most common reasons why people don't explore the world of cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. It's too complicated. Listening to people talk about blockchain, mining and algorithms can sound scary, but don't worry, getting started is quick and easy. As with most things there is a learning curve, but there are platforms, like Coinbase, that are designed for absolute beginners. I can't afford it. This was my number one reason for not getting involved. When I was told that a Bitcoin costs $23,000, I ruled myself out. The fact is that you don't buy full coins. You are actually buying fractions, satoshis. This means that anyone can get involved. You can start with any amount of money. The barrier to entry is very low because you could buy $5 worth of Bitcoin if that is all that you can afford. It's too risky. Remember that volatility doesn't equal risk. As with any investment, there is an element of risk, so you should never invest more than you can afford to lose. The same can be said for stocks or real estate. On the upside, the price of Bitcoin has increased overall since it was first introduced. That's not to say that it won't lose money, but if it continues to perform as it has in the past, it's worth considering. Warren Buffett said, There are very smart and rich people on both sides of the cryptocurrency debate. People like Elon Musk are advocates, while people like Warren Buffett aren't. Some high-profile financial institutions and countries are on board and others aren't. Only time will tell who is right and who is wrong. Do you want to look back three years from now and regret not taking a chance?